Hey, what is up guys? Apple Advanced here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download a NDS for iOS emulator back again on your iOS 9.3.3 device or lower. If you guys want to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now, and let's begin with today's tutorial. So, um, this will work on iOS 10 Beta 1, but this will not work on iOS 10 Beta 2. Um, but to my knowledge, I do not know if this will work on iOS 10 beta 3. So because beta 3 just got released and so I'm not too sure if it'll work or not. So if you're on iOS 10 beta 3, try to let me know if it works or not, if the date trick works. Because you will need to have a device that will be able to do the date trick. If you don't know what the date trick is, we'll just try doing everything I'd show you in this video and see if it works. Now if this video does not work for you, I recommend subscribing as a lot of people do so. And they turn on my notifications to see next time I make another video for like NDS for iOS to see if it'll work for them or not um, this is a permanent method meaning if you um, this will not get revoked um, so it'll never just crash but if you do update to a firmware which um, this will not work on it will crash and it will not work so that's one thing and be careful on offing your device when you off your device and turn it back on I recommend turning like the um, right before you enter the app turn your settings up to like 24 hours ago meaning just change it back a day a day ago and then just access NDS for iOS app again and then exit out and then you can change your date back but I'm also gonna be showing you a couple more tricks also just in case um, you think it's revoked but it's really not I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that you can do to make it for sure download now um, that's it for the video let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial so um, just head on over to Safari okay the link to this site will be in the description below you just want to scroll down all the way till you find NDS for iOS go ahead and click on it then I'll start loading up and then I'll just click get um, it's going to come with the prompt asking you would you like to install or not. Go ahead and click install. Now, um, here's the part you want to quickly, quickly as fast as you can, go to settings, general. Now, I have to go into portrait mode so I can do this as fast as I can. And just change your date back to like um, 2014. I usually just change it back to like February 2014 um, because um, it usually works for me on that date. So, let's go ahead and switch my date to like January 14th or something like that. Just really anywhere as long as it's really 2014 it's worked for me and as you can see it downloaded all the way let's go ahead and change back to landscape mode so it's not that uh, wonky and looking for you guys so basically when you change your date back to 2014 it actually tricks the system and um, you are able to install it but here's another trick just in case it does not install all the way and it just keeps saying waiting and you know this will work for you because you know I listed one of your iOS devices like you have iOS 10 beta 1 and you know this is working but it just keeps saying waiting or something on the download well there's a trick to it that I know you can do and it's where um, what happens is it just gets stuck so to fix it you just want to like maybe hold it down okay and then just do that and then just off and on your device off and on your device and then it should be working again and then it should begin the download or whatever that's how I usually fixed it because sometimes that happens to me so if it just keeps saying waiting you know um, then just off and on your device while it's saying waiting um, and when you turn it back on it should begin to download all the way now um, when you click on it, it's going to say untrusted enterprise developer. It's actually quite easy to get rid of that. You just want to head over to settings, go to general, scroll down all the way until you can find profiles and device management. But here's a part I messed up on. You want to, uh, after it installs, you want to change your date back to set automatically or you will not be able to trust it. So now head on over to settings, general, and profiles and device management. For iOS 10 users, this will be just device management. So go ahead and click on enterprise app and that belongs to NDS for iOS. Go ahead and trust it. Trust it again. Remember, you have to change your date back to set automatically for this to download once again. And boom, um, you will have NDS for iOS unlocked on your iOS 9.3.2, 9.3.3, iOS 10 Beta 1, all these um, devices that are able to do the date trick. Now, if this does not work for you, like I said in the beginning of the video, turn on my notifications so the next time I make a video on NDS for iOS, you'll be one of the first people to be alerted about it. Or you could just have me in your subscription box so that whenever you want to get NDS for iOS, you're going to go ahead and check your subscription description box maybe daily to see if I've uploaded another video like NDS for iOS or GB for iOS as I cover tons of emulators on my channel. If you guys go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. This has been Apple Advanced and see you guys.